If you are single and you have friends and family at home who are talking crap, asking you why you're not married or why you don't have kids yet, you can tell them to go mind their own business because you're not the one who's going to be divorced at 65. Statistically speaking, the older you are when you get married, the lower your chances of divorce are. There's a variety of factors why this is, but the main things are the older you are, the more time you've had to discover yourself, know what kind of partner you want. You've also had more time to develop your communication and your conflict resolution skills, which are crucial for healthy marriages. When you get married in your 20s, the divorce rate is around 36%. When you get married in your 30s, it's around 16%. When you get married in your 40s, it's around 8%. I don't know about you guys, but I'm waiting until I'm old because I want to know for sure that the person that I end up with is the person that I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. Having said that, getting married earlier is not better. They only think it's better because they did it. If you are waiting, you are doing the right thing. And trust me, when you do find that person, you're the one who's going to be in the long-term, healthy, happy marriage. And even with everything this chick just pointed out about when you get married, when you get older, you have a greater likelihood of the marriage succeeding, which is true. However, what this requires is something that women like herself and many women like her do not want to do, which is lower their standards. Just had to hit it a little bit, right? Women do not want to lower their standards, guys. So I can guarantee you right now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, this chick will still be single, ranting about how uh, tired of people asking me, why aren't you married? How come you're not married? I mean, really, that's a compliment. You know, when somebody says that, that's kind of a compliment. Like, how are you not married? You know, how, is, how have you not been scooped up, right? But because these women are so um, insecure with themselves, and really they are, I mean, that's like some straight insecurity right there. Because they're so insecure with themselves, they don't see it that way, right? They're like, ah, oh, he's putting me down. He's putting me down. What is he trying to say? You know, but really it's a compliment, man. Take it as a compliment, ladies, because, you know, I mean, <laughs> if we didn't think that you are good enough to get married, we wouldn't even ask a question. We'd just be like, oh, that's, you know, we know why you're not married, man. Nobody wants you, right? But uh, we see a pretty face and, you know, we see a nice body and we're like, hey, how come you... Why are you still married at, you know, how come you're still unmarried at 35 or 40? What are you doing? What are you doing wrong? So, yeah, it's very sad. It's very unfortunate. But uh, you're going to see a whole lot more of this in the future, guys. It's very uh, telling of women how they can't find a man to lock down. I mean, especially women like this. She's not bad looking, okay? She's a decent looking girl. And she still cannot get the guy that she wants. I mean, definitely not now. I mean, she's now she's in her 30s, right? The time to do that, as we always talk about here on the 33 Secrets, is when? Before you turn 30, right? That is the time, ladies, that you cash in the chips, okay? That is the time when you can get the guy that you would most want to marry, right? The highest value guy you can, which is what all these ladies want, right? Statistically, that is true. That is what all of these women want, is the high value guy. You know how I know that? Because I read the statistics from these dating apps. Let me shut this off for a bit, it's a little loud. And the Lambo, guys. Um, yeah, follow me at Matt Cross Official if you want to see the process of me buying the car and all that. So uh, for all the idiots, that are like, no, it's rented, it's rented. Uh, no, I can totally afford like a fleet of these if I wanted to. But in any case, uh, so, yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> this chick easily could get the guy that she wants. And uh, as I was saying, uh, statistically on these dating apps, right, I've read, I've, I've read the reports, man. And all the reports say the same thing from whether it's Bumble, Tinder, Hinge, you name it. These women, no matter how old or how young they are, they're all going for that, you know, the top tier guys, right? They're all going for those top shelf guys that have lots of options, right? So they don't need to settle for you, Missy. They don't need to settle for your stinking ass, right? They have plenty of options. And especially, especially with that attitude. I mean, above all else, I mean, yeah, guys, right, we're all about the looks, right? We're all about the looks to begin with. But beyond looks, you have to have the right attitude. You can't just be a pretty face. 
You know how many pretty faces and beautiful women that I've dropped because of their nasty attitude or because their attitude sucked or because they, you know, they're just constantly complaining about something. I don't want that in my life. I want peace, right? I want peace. That's what men want. Low value, high value. We want peace. Does this chick look like she's peaceful? Nah. <laughs> she looks like, you know, she's kind of a nag, right? She looks like she's, you're just not going to have a good time with her. And it's sad, you know, I mean, because a lot of guys will take a woman who's less attractive, but super cool, super submissive, compliant over a loudmouth chick that's maybe a, a, another point above on the look scale. Anyway, let's go to the next video, shall we? Women do not like, we don't like, and I know that it may seem like we do because you're a man who liked a girl and she didn't like you and went to go date instead or you guys were dating and she broke up with you to go date her ex i get it it might seem like we like girls but we don't and let me tell you what's actually happening so you don't go out there being the girls thinking that that's what they want women fall for men just as easily as men do we are attracted to them when someone makes us feel special we just we just we can't help it especially if we're sleeping with someone we're gonna fall for them we're gonna like them and so once we've already created an emotional connection with someone boom he turns into an and now we already like them. Now we already are stuck in it. And so it's hard to break that connection, hoping that that person who's now the will one day turn into the person that we thought they were. Chances are they don't, but I want to say that there's hope for this. For all the women who have dated it teaches us to appreciate the good guys when they come along. That's right, you heard me. We appreciate the good guys, and those are the ones we end up marrying. I was reading my girl Abby's book here, and she describes it perfectly. No one ever plans falling in love with an By the time we realize a man's true colors, it's too late. But it's never too late to let a good guy treat you the way a good woman deserves to be treated. Same chick again. This chick is as high as a kite, right? Because we all know that women, and this is also a statistic, go for assholes, right? That is what they want. They do not want nice guys, okay? And I just found, um, I just found a few studies that I'm gonna cover here on my 33 channel, probably in the coming weeks, uh, probably pretty soon, uh, where researchers have found loads of data talking about how women do not appreciate kindness in a man. Kindness. They don't appreciate kindness in men, right? I mean, I could have told you this without the study, but I like to bring these studies on. Otherwise, you know, these like DGs on the <laughs> that are in the comments will accuse me of just making things up. And I don't. I get everything from my statistics, right? So, yeah, it is very well known that women do not appreciate nice guys right especially women like this right her i mean there's a reason this chick is heading towards going into her 40s almost and uh is still single right you know why it's always the same story fellas because they have a pattern of dating assholes right those relationships don't work out these are the guys that get these girls hot and heavy while they, you know, piss all over the, the good guys that she supposedly, those are the guys we marry. Those are the guys we marry. Yeah, those are the guys you marry, right? I'm not disagreeing with you. Those are the guys that they marry once they hit their 30s and they can no longer get the asshole. Who are you kidding? Don't you hate it when that happens? Um, in any case, yeah, they can no longer get the asshole. So then they're forced to settle for the beta, right? The beta Brad, the provisioner, the guy who's going to come home at night, the guy who's going to pay her bills, the guy that is, isn't going to be cheating on her, you know, but, uh, you don't want to marry girls like that, right? This is why I tell you guys, do not marry women past age of 30 because now you're, you're marrying the alpha widows. I hate to tell you, man, you, as Chris Rock said, you weren't her first choice, right? You're marrying the alpha widow now. That's why we call them alpha widows, fellas. So, yeah, I mean, this chick is completely Looney Tunes, man. I mean, the fact that she's like sitting here and she's reading a book from, a, you know, another female dating coach. What have I told you guys and you gals that are on this channel? Don't take dating advice, business advice, life advice, any advice from a woman, especially if you're female, by the way, because these do not have your best interest at heart, right? They do not. This is why, you know, statistically, most women 
prefer a male boss because male bosses are fair. They'll tell them the truth. They're, you know, they're not going to try to uh, pull the rug out from underneath them or constantly sabotage them or overload them with work and screw them over, you know, because they're prettier than them. No, trust me, man. These women do not have your best interests at heart. And even if they, they, they feel that they do, you know, just subconsciously, they're just going to give you some real, real trashy advice that is not going to work in reality, right? It's just going to keep you single like her, like the author of that book that she's reading. It's not going to work. All right, it's not going to work. All right, one more video. I think sometimes men think that they must be at a certain point, have a certain job, earn a certain amount of money, and it will make them masculine and it will make them better. But just because you have a good job doesn't make your personality better. One thing to note, really doesn't make your personality better. She's totally right about that. You know, having money, having good job does not make your personality better. I completely agree with her. But you know what also doesn't make your personality better is uh, how you look, right? Which is what women rely on, right? Women rely on their looks. Men rely on our money. So, yeah. The thing about men with money, though, is the thing you know immediately is that guy is a winner. He's a leader. He takes action. He's successful. He can take care of you, right? He's alpha. Um, whereas for a woman, we just see a pretty face. We don't know whether or not she's a bitch. We don't know whether or not she has a personality. Many times she doesn't because pretty women do not need to develop a personality because the world is handed to them on a silver platter since the age of 13, right? Since they first started to uh, spring. Right, so um, yeah. Uh, it's it's the same in reverse you know and i would say there are more women out there without a personality than there are men without a personality because women even if they're not that attractive just the fact that they're women and they got a vagina between their legs people really really just make life easy for them whereas for guys you could be attractive you know and like life can still be hard there's some good looking homeless dudes out there, you know? Will you ever see a good looking homeless girl? No, right? No, no, mm -mm. you know, so there is that double standard there. Um, but I, I love how these chicks are bagging on men, you know, their personalities and everything. It's like, no, men can, I mean, most men can carry on a conversation way better, speak way more intelligently, speak about things that actually matter and speak factually you know, versus, you know, most women out there, right? Because again, women do not have to develop much of a personality or character unless they're really unattractive. This is why when you uh, look at uh, the board of, uh, you know, the C-level board of, uh, you know, many corporations, yeah, you don't see a lot of stunners on that board, right? You don't see a lot of females that, you know, look like they could be models. Uh, instead, you see a lot of these, like, women that <laughs> you wouldn't have looked at twice in high school or that were just complete nerds, couldn't get a date if their lives depended on them, maybe smelled a little bit, were overweight, whatever. Uh, yeah, those are women that become uh, C-level executives, man. But as always, gentlemen, let's wrap up here. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below. All right, this is M from the 33 Secrets signing out here with the Lamborghini. Yes, it's my Lambo. Go to Matt Cross Official, my IG, see the entire process of me purchasing this vehicle. It took about two months to close, and the same guy who delivered my DeLorean also delivered my Lamborghini. TJ at Florida Exotic Transport. If you ever need to transport a muscle car, exotic car, he's your man. So, very excited about this vehicle. It's, uh, Actually, a pretty rare find. It's Rossifesto Red, which is one of the rarest colors for Lamborghini. It's a $14,880 option, believe it or not. I was on a hunt for one for over two years, just like I was my DeLorean. Finally found one. It's got super low miles, 11K, not bad. And we're gonna be featuring this car a lot more here on the channel for many years to come. This is gorgeous, isn't it? Whew. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. It hasn't dried yet, but I'm still putting this on there. It's my IG tag. 
But as always, gentlemen, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that like button below. Do it for the Lamborghini and the DeLorean. I still have it, by the way. I'm not selling the DeLorean. I'll probably keep this car for a little bit, but uh, DeLorean is going to stay. So uh, we'll get the DeLorean back on here pretty soon. But uh, enjoy the Lamborghini. And again, smash the like button. Smash that subscribe button as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there into the world and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making it happen every single week. And I want you to become one of us. I want you to join us. And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me in mastery. So take advantage of it. It's the best way to support my work. If you love what I'm doing here, if you love what I'm teaching you here, and you feel like I've added value to your life, this is the best way to pay me back. Get into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now, and I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out with the Lambo. Till next time. Whew, so sweet.